Uh, hey, this is uh, Ty, the dog trainer with DogBehaviorOnline.com, and I'm coming with a question uh, from somebody who has purchased our DVDs. Her question is, we have had our new family member only about three weeks. He is an eight-month-old Shih Tzu. When we got him, we had no problems with the potting in the house. He was not chewing everything up. It was really pretty good. Then about a week ago, we had him neutered. It seems like a lot has changed. He potties in the house sometimes, not a lot. But the past couple of days, he has been chewing and tearing everything up. Shoes, his toys, etc. He has literally torn up all of his toys. Has gotten the squeaker out of toys and chewed up. Hard plastic dog bones chewed up, etc. Why the big change? And so, here's, here's what I'm guessing and, and what is, is mostly the case. This is probably how he was before. Oftentimes, when a dog comes to a new home... Um, you know, for example, we'll, we'll have a lot of clients that uh, they'll give us a call and they say, hey, we're getting this new dog. We want you to be there on day one because, uh, you know, this dog, uh, we want it to start out right. And, and we'll do that if the, if the client really insists. But um, what I find more often than not is that for the first week or two when a dog is in a new home, they're a little bit shell-shocked. You know, they're... Um, Everything is so different, so new. This get, I mean, everything's so new that you often don't see a lot of behavior problems come out just yet. You know, the behavior problems, you often see those start to come out week one, week two, once the dog starts to feel more settled. And so, could it have had something to do with neutering? Maybe. But I think more than that is that um, the neutering just happened to coincide with the time when he was starting to feel comfortable at home. Uh, and so that's my guess on why you're having the issues that you're having is just he's starting to settle in. Is it the neutering? Probably not would be my guess. And so let me go back to the question here. Let me give you some ideas on what you can do to fix it. Um, <clears throat> so the chewing. Uh, okay, so what you need, he's potting in the house and he's going to the bathroom. Well, he's going to the bathroom and he's chewing up your stuff. And so what that means is there's two, he needs supervision right now. He's a young dog. He's eight months old. Every eight month old dog needs a lot of supervision, but a dog that's going potty and chewing stuff up definitely needs supervision. So what I would recommend is to leave a leash on him in the house. That's going to accomplish a couple of things. Number one, we have to keep him from sneaking off. Just critical. Number two, we've got to start getting some obedience. And that's where uh, almost everyone screws up and tries to train their dog verbally. They try to tell their dog to come, tell their dog to sit, tell their dog to stay. But dogs don't learn verbally. Dogs learn physically. And so when you keep a leash on the dog, uh, you know, from these, beginning, from these beginning stages, it allows you to give little corrections. It allows you to guide. It allows you to motivate. When we want to teach the dog to go to his bed and stay, I've got the leash on so I can do that. When we want to teach the dog to uh, come, I've got the leash on, I can do that. Sit, I've got the leash on, I can do that. He's chewing, I've got the leash on, I can correct that. And so that would be the recommendation I'd give you. Also, of course, in the DVDs that you've got, you're, uh, you're going to learn these techniques for, for doing the obedience. But obedience is critical here because it sounds like your dog is getting a little bit out of control. Not a little bit out of control. It sounds like you're going a little bit nuts, uh, you know, because he's going out of control here. But it sounds like there's definitely a need for the dog to um, gain some respect. And the best way for dogs to gain respect is through obedience. And so as you teach him these things that you'll learn in the DVDs, as you teach him to come and stay and lie down, you know, and all these good things, that's going to put you in the leadership role. Now, when you're in the leadership role, it doesn't make so much sense to be chewing up all your stuff and peeing on your floor and things like that. Um, and so, so anyways, sometimes I sound like a broken record when it comes to issues like this because obedience is the foundation for fixing everything, whether it's chewing, destruction, peeing in the house, etc. Obedience is the foundation for fixing everything. And so that's where you need to be putting a lot of your effort over the next little bit is, is this obedience training, and that's going to help you start to solve your problem. So best of luck and happy training.